Hey guys, what's going on? So as you can see over my shoulder here, I've got my 2014 GMC Sierra here in the driveway again. Uh, and she's got some new shoes on her. These are, they're the 22 inch, uh, they're basically Denali wheels. They came out of the GM Performance Parts catalog. Uh, what differentiates these from the standard stock Denali wheels is these little inserts right here. On the Denali, I think these are chromed. I think this is still the same paint, but these little plastic inserts right here, these are chromed. And as you can see, mine are black. They're only held on with three little screws, two up here and one that's back here. This was an expense that I didn't intend on making. What happened was all four of my wheels were stolen, okay? It was parked out in front of my house and all four wheels got stolen. The thieves just put the truck back down on the street, uh, sitting on the rear rotors, sitting on the front ball joints. And so obviously uh, I don't want that to happen again. Now, the reason that I bought these wheels over replacing them with the 20s uh, that were on the truck is these wheels were actually less expensive. Uh, it came out to about $250 less per wheel than replacing them with the 20 inch wheels that were on the truck. So I got a thousand dollar deductible, you know, 250 per wheel, that's a thousand bucks. Basically I didn't have to pay anything out of pocket. Insurance covered the whole thing. And I think I got a better looking wheel anyway. Obviously I don't want my wheels stolen again. Uh, so I'm gonna do what I can to try and prevent that. And I'm gonna show you a few things over here on the table that I'm gonna do. Clearly, it's very difficult to 100% prevent theft or vandalism or anything like that. So I'm gonna do the best I can, and I'm gonna show you uh, some of the parts and some of the uh, little tools that I'm gonna use to try and uh, protect my property. So let me show you what's on the table. Okay, so the first thing that I went with, like most people go with, is a set of wheel locks. Now, these are from Gorilla Guard. Part number is 66641. I researched wheel locks, and what I really researched was how thieves defeat wheel locks. I bought these because I thought they were the best, uh, at least the best fit for my situation. They have this little collar on the end of the lock. Let me show you. There's the whole wheel lock, and they have this little collar right there that's splined on the inside. Uh, let me see if I can get something to uh, make this show up better. Okay. So I put just a simple blue line on there, and you can see that these two parts rotate independently of each other. One of the ways that thieves defeat wheel locks is they just take any old socket, or not just any old socket, but a socket that's just a little bit smaller than what would fit over the wheel lock, and they take a hammer and they just drive this socket on there and then it bites in enough that they can loosen the wheel locks. That's one way they defeat it, and there's several others, but that's the one uh, that I'm going to try and defeat them uh, with these little wheel locks. So this is uh, the first line of defense. We'll, we'll just see, you know, we'll do the best we can. It comes with its own specialized key. Uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do with this later, because I, uh, I don't just wanna put it inside the truck, because then the thieves are just gonna smash my window and take the key and then take my wheels off. Um, but it does come with its own little key. I actually just got it to kind of fit there on its first shot, but it is keyed to only work one way. So we got that. The other one, now people complain a lot about Harbor Freight tools. <clears throat> and I don't blame them. I mean, they do make some cheap stuff, but I do own some Harbor Freight stuff. One of the Harbor Freight things that I own is this stamping set right there on the top stamping set small I think it's quarter inch numbers and letters zero through nine and then a through Z I'm going what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my wheels off and I'm going to stamp basically my initials or I'm going to stamp something in the wheel so if they do get stolen there's at least some way to identify them as my wheels when the 20s got stolen obviously the first thing I did was jump on Craigslist and look around I mean those wheels are they're very common and there was a lot of sets for sale. There's no way for me to, to identify that set as mine. So basically all it was doing was pissing me off. And so I just quit looking because I knew that I wasn't gonna get those wheels back. So possibly in the future, if the wheels do get stolen, there's going to be something marked on those wheels that if I do find a set, one, these are unique because of those black inserts. They're not just your standard 22 inch Denali wheels. Those black inserts make them kind of unique. We're gonna make them personal with the stamping set. So we're gonna pull all four wheels off, probably do it on the flange, on the back of the flange. I certainly don't wanna 
stamp anything on the front. So on the back of the flange, we'll stamp. Uh, so let's just get to work. So obviously you're looking at the back side of the wheel here. Uh, so I've got my stamps here. These are the initials that we're going to put on there. MC82. Milk Crate 82. And then I'm also going to number the wheels 1 through 4. So we've got number 1 here. I'm going to stamp it just right in there. You could do it here or here. This is just where it laid uh, when I lean it up against the shed here. So right above uh, the flange area right in there is where I'm going to stamp it. So let me bring you in a little bit closer. All right, right about in there. Yeah, that looks good on film. So this is the M. All right, let's just get to it. Okay. Well, on film, that looks like a one, but it's actually an M. It's a little faint. Um, you know, I'm just gonna leave it. I've tr I, in the past, I've tried to set these up again, and it just looks terrible. So from a different angle, it looks like an M. So let's just keep going. There we have it. See, it kind of looks like an M from a different angle. It doesn't have to be pretty, but there's going to be no other wheels that are going to have this stamp on it. MC82, wheel number one. Let's put it back on and do the other three. Okay, so I just ran them up with the uh, little electric impact wrench, just seated, just to run them up faster than I can do it by hand. Then I used the breaker bar to give them just a little torque. Now it's set down on the ground, and I'm going to do the final torque. Now, I've looked online, and there's a lot of discrepancies on wheel torque. I finally found it after about 20 minutes of looking in my owner's manual. I found what they recommend as wheel torque. Let me give you the page. 12-3. Under capacity, so this is also engine oil with filter capacities, it's at the very, very bottom. Wheel nut torque, right there. Scroll across, 140 foot-pounds. So, I do have a nice new electric torque wrench, so that's what we're going to use. Turn it on. It's already pretty close. Hopefully that'll show. There we go, set to 140 foot-pounds. So I'm going to do the five factory lug nuts first and then the locking lug nut. And the last one is the lock nut. Get this on there in the right position. There we go. It is a little frustrating. A 13 16 socket fits this lock, the, the key, fits the key the best, and a 7 8 fits those lug nuts the best, or a 22 millimeter, I think. Here we go, still set to 140. There we go, all torqued up. So that's the basic process of what I'm doing. We're gonna do the wheel lugs, tag each wheel with a with stamping, something that cannot be removed. Uh, so now I just gotta do it three more times, and then we'll finish out this video.
Okay, so I just finished torquing down all four wheels on the truck. There's one more little thing that I want to do to kind of make sure everything is nice and secure, and that's something I'm going to do to the little locking key here. So uh, let me bring you here inside the shop, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. All right, so I'm over here at the drill press. Like I said, I got one more thing to do. This is the key. You can see the little splines in there that engage uh, the little notches inside the locking lug nuts. I'm going to drill one hole through the center of this. And once I get that done, we'll go back to the truck and I'll show you why I wanted to drill a hole through this. So let's get this kind of centered up. Eyeball center. Doesn't have to be super perfect. All right, right about there and then I'll clamp it down. Okay, so we're done drilling the little hole through our key and I've just run some zip ties in there. Just to give you an idea, I don't know where I'm gonna put this. Uh, let me set you up here on the table and we'll finish out this video. Like I was saying, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this, uh, but now instead of just throwing it in the glove box or the center console, we can hang this under the hood, we can tie it up under the truck. Uh, it can go somewhere where a thief is less likely to find it. Uh, so I'm gonna look around the truck and find out exactly where I wanna put this. You know, all we're really doing here, we're not trying to prevent theft. That's pretty hard to do, especially if you live in a major metropolitan area like I do. The best we can do here is mitigate the loss. And that's all I'm doing here. I mean, the best solution is, at least in my opinion, I'm sure somebody could poke holes in, in everything I've done here and my, all my theories. First one is don't own anything that is worth stealing. Go buy a work truck with the 17 inch steel wheels and nothing fancy. Nobody wants that stuff. No thief wants that stuff. It doesn't really have value on uh, in, in resale. So that's number one. Number two, if you're going to own something fancy, insure it. And number three, do something like this. Get wheel locks. Stamp your wheels so that if they are found, they can be identified as yours and you will get at least get your property back, get something back. Um, that's all I can tell you. You know, one thing that I think we need to understand about uh, theft and thievery is that most thieves are opportunists, meaning that if they can't get it quick and easy, they're going to move on to something else. So that's one thing that wheel locks are good at. They can drive by, they look, they see it's got a wheel lock, and they go, never mind. Uh, if they do think that they can break the wheel lock, well, like I showed you earlier, that thing's got that little twisty part on it. They may sit there and try and hammer a socket trying to get them off, they're gonna make a hell of a lot of racket, and I don't think it's gonna work. Maybe it could, maybe it wouldn't, I don't know. So that's kind of the whole theory behind this. I may get uh, a car alarm, we'll see. All this has is the factory, the factory alarm, which uh, when these wheels got stolen, it was on, the, the truck was locked. Uh, but as the cop told me, there's no sensors in the truck that detect any movement if the truck is being lifted or jostled in any way. And he recommended getting an alarm system that has that feature. So we will see about that. And if I go that route, then I'll certainly film the installation. So if a thief comes and looks at these wheels and they want to steal them, yeah, they can bust my window out and dig through the truck and they can you know, do a lot of damage inside the truck. But again, mitigating the loss, they won't find the key and I won't lose my wheels. They're still going to be damaged. It's kind of just the way it is. So that's it guys. I'm going to crawl around on the truck, under the hood, see where I want to put this key. Uh, I'm also going to contact Gorilla and have them send me out uh, a second key, maybe even a third key. I think they're 10 or $15. Um, and they can throw it in one flat rate box and ship it out to me for another two, three, four bucks. Uh, but I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you liked the video. If you do, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.